Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Zombie with Zombie Cigar Reviews. Let's take a look at what we're going to be smoking today. All right, so what we got today is the Fat Bottom Betty by Dead With Tobacco and Drew Estate. It has a nice sweet hay aroma with a little bit of cocoa and some cinnamon. Nice dark, oily Maduro wrapper. The Viatola of this is a 5x54 Robusto. Uh, wrapper is Maduro. The filler and binder are proprietary, so they won't let you really know what that is, so that's on the hush. Uh, the origin, the country is Nicaragua. Man, this thing smells really good. Like I was saying, this is the last of the Yummy Bitches. Um, this is one of my favorite cigars. I love the cigar. I've smoked a few of them before, so uh, I'm going to get this cut. I'm going to torch it and uh, get started. All right, so I'll be using my XO cutter. Nice, clean cut. really loose draws really good all right as you can see it has that closed foot I don't know if you can see that or not but it does have a closed foot so just want to make sure that you try to get as even of a burn as you can Got it lit. As you see that closed foot, you have to be careful when you're lighting these closed foot because you don't want to over burn or over toast, you know, the foot and you don't want this to fall off in your lap or somewhere. So I'm going to start up on this and uh, I'll come back with uh, the first, first third. We got it lit up. As you can see, there's a lot of smoke coming off the foot. Um, it does have that sweet tip to it. Like I said, with the other sisters, it's not an overbowering sweetness. It's just a nice little additive to the to the cigar and it kind of complements the tobaccos that are in this. So you get a lot of smoke in your mouth. Um, right now it just kind of tastes like uh, that sweet hay and a little bit of maybe some cocoa in there right now. But it's too early to really tell what I'm gonna get out of this, so I'm gonna smoke down a little bit, get further into this first third, and I'll come back with uh, some updates. All right, so getting into this first third, um, the burn is pretty decent so far. It's a little, it's a little off, but I'm pretty sure it'll catch up hopefully. It's a little windy out, it's not too bad, so I'm hoping that won't play, you know, any part in how the construction is on this. But um, right now I'm getting some sweet cocoa, um, a little bit of earth, and slight pepper on the retro hell. And the sweet tip, you can still, it's still there. Obviously it's at the beginning of the cigar. but it really just adds to the flavors that are in the cigar. Like I said, sometimes with these cigars, when they're infused or flavored, which this is not infused or flavored, it just has a sweet tip. So it's tobacco in here. It's not, you know, like the other Drew Estates, the acid line where it's a lot of different um, things inside of it. Basically, you're just getting some tobacco in here. Like, like I've said, it's possible that it could be some pipe tobacco in here that makes it have that different sweetness to it but it's definitely not infused so I'll come back with some more updates right, so the 
ash is a little bit flaky. Um, the burn line is pretty decent, so I'm not worried about any burn issues with this one today. Same uh, flavors I'm getting out of it in this first. The sweet cocoa, um, a little bit of earth. I'll come back with the second third. So we're about to get into the second third uh, for the first third pretty much being over uh, consistent with the sweet cocoa a little bit of earth and pepper on the retro hill as you can see the ash is still hanging on it's kind of flaky the burn is okay I did a slight little touch up just to make sure that it didn't start to canoe or anything else but um smoke output is still good the sweetness on the tip is still there still enjoying it um, put it down for a little bit and you know I did some reading or looking around and stuff so the it stays lit you don't have to worry about it turning out on you um, good construction so I'll come back when I get further into the second third with uh, another update despite my efforts to try to keep it an even burn it looks like it's gonna start to you know burn a little bit on even but I gotta keep it fair so gotta let you know the updates I'm gonna continue on. All right, so getting into the second third, it's gonna definitely need a touch up. As you can see, it's a little bit uneven. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time before I touch it up. I probably will need to touch it up. Uh, the sweet cocoa is still there. The sweetness on the tip is slightly starting to fade now. Um, also, I'm getting a little bit of that maple in there uh, starting out now, um, as well as I'm getting a little bit more of a tobacco. Um, like, like I said, like. A sweet tobacco though not a not a drier harsh tobacco but it's definitely a tobacco taste like I said it could be because it's a possibility that there's pipe tobacco in here but um it's a pleasant tobacco taste so um the ash is still hanging on it's a little bit flaky and it's a little bit windy so the flakes have been just flying and scattering all over the place um, so that's the update right now heading in to and part way through some of the second third. So I'll come back with any other updates. Like I said, I'll probably do a slight touch up because I don't want to get too bad, but um, I'm still enjoying it. Very pleasant. The aromatics of it is very pleasing. Uh, people walking by thought I was smoking a Java or something like that. I told them like, no, this is a Deadwood tobacco. Um, Drew Estate, Fat Bottom Betty. So it's not an infused cigar. But uh, the aromatics are just pleasing. It draws people over to ask you questions. Like I said, this would probably be good like in a party setting or something like that where the aroma isn't going to offend anybody. And uh, it'll bring people to it. It draws people to it for conversation. So I'm going to continue smoking. And I'll come back with any updates. just happens to be as soon as I stop filming, the ash falls off. And as you can see, it's, like I said, it's a little bit uneven. So I'm going to have to touch it up. Update uh, since the ash fell off, kind of introduced a little bit of a, like a baking chocolate almost to this one, slightly different than the others. Um, it might have been just because there's a looser draw, so that cocoa might have turned into a chocolate, it's a possibility. But uh, just a quick update. And uh, the pepper is almost gone on the retro hill. And the sweet tip is definitely continued to fade, so you get more of the natural tobaccos that are in this. Alright, we're a little bit away from the band, well into the second third now. Uh, the maple has definitely come up a notch, and there you taste a little bit more. It's almost like a syrup almost. It's nice and sweet. Um, as well as now there's a little bit of that coffee in there. Uh, that the other two I had as well so all three of them have had pretty much the same flavor profile um, medium to full and uh, just delicious they're great I like them like I said they're one of my favorites the Fat Bottom Betty is definitely one of my favorites I love Robusto size cigars um, I can't say anything bad about it right now so once I get to the, to the band point I'll take it off and continue into the uh, final third. And I'll come back with some updates. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to uh, my former pastor, Bug. 
uh, he's the one that put me on to the Fat Bottom Betty. He told me try it out. He thought I would like it, and I do. I really enjoy it. I fell in love with the cigar. My wife enjoys the cigar. It's one of her favorites. I think it is her favorite besides the Hit and Run. Um, but yeah, thank you for putting me on to this, and also thank you for uh, kind of pushing me into doing the YouTube thing, man. I really appreciate it. So thanks, and big up to Bubs. Look at the band. Like I said, all three of the bands on these are just phenomenal to me. I really like the band on this. The artwork is just phenomenal. As you can see, the burn line is pretty uh, straight now. It's not the straightest, but it got a lot better. I did one touch up, so Ash is still holding on pretty well. Still flaky, blown everywhere with the wind, but this is a small. Right, heading towards this final third, uh, the maple is slightly starting to, you know, fade. Uh, the coffee is definitely faded, and now that floralness that came in the end in the final third with the other two is now starting to be present in this one. So. Um, that's what I'm getting right now, and I'll come back with any more um, updates I may have. Alright you guys, I'm almost done here. I'm going to smoke a little bit more, but it's going to be pretty much done. It's starting to get a little bit warm. Uh, in this final third, what I was getting was, like I said, that floral essence. Um, it's not like a potpourri or anything like that. It's just a nice floral essence that you get on the draw and stuff. Um, I also picked up on two of the draws a little bit of milk chocolate, which I didn't get in the other ones. But on one of the other ones, I did get like a weird, like smoky, like campfire on it. So, I mean, it could just be a fluke or something, but I don't know. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'll come back with my final thoughts and a rating on this and that will conclude our yummy bitches little series that we have going here so thank you guys for watching and i'll come back with the final thoughts like always as soon as i finish recording the ash falls so you know the ash holds on you know at least an inch or two at a time so all right so update. let's go into the rating on this so for curb appeal and how it draws your attention whether you're doing it buying online or in a BNM, I give it its full point. Like I said, I love the artwork on the bands on these, so it gets its full point for that. Um, for price, this one is in between the eight to uh, nine dollar range. Um, so I'm gonna give it its full point on that because I believe that this stick is worth eight to nine dollars, definitely. I will definitely continue to get these. I enjoy these a lot, so I recommend you try them if you haven't. Um, as far as construction, I'm giving it a half a point because I did have to touch it up once um, and I was worried about it a little bit, you know, throughout the smoke if I'm going to have to touch it up more or not. Like I said, I don't really like to worry about it. I just want to smoke my cigar and enjoy it. Um, so for the construction, half a point. For flavors, I'm giving it its full point. Um, it's consistent on the flavors. All three of them had pretty much the same with a little bit of this, like slight differences. But mainly you're getting, like I said, the maple, you're getting some coffee, you're getting a little bit of earth, some pepper on the retro, hell, the floral essence. Um, on this one, like I said, I got a little bit of like a milk chocolate for a second. And um, yeah, that was pretty much it for this one. The sweet tip is a nice addition to this. Like I said, it's not overpowering, so please don't, don't think that if you're going to get it, that sweet tip is going to uh, deter you from it. It's, it's a pleasant sweet tip. Um, as far as the overall experience on this, I'm gonna give it its full point. Um, like I said, I always enjoy these cigars. They're they're pleasant to me. The aromatics of it, the way they smoke. So the Fat Bottom Betty for me is getting a four and a half. So that concludes the uh, Yummy Bitches series. And uh, thank you. Thank you guys again for watching uh, the videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, it's okay to give it a thumbs down as well. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, also follow me on Instagram at zombie underscore ruffian. Um, leave some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, any info is helpful to the channel to uh, help me improve and get better. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for rocking with me. Peace. Zombie again. Um, I'm really excited because I went down to Cigars Daily and uh, I met Tim Swanson, aka Smoke Viking, on Instagram. 
Uh, he had put out a book on how to review cigars. And uh, he has a nice little sampler pack that you can get with this on Cigars Daily. And uh, over the next few weeks on YouTube, he'll be going over uh, those cigars on how to review cigars, how to get the flavor notes out of them and stuff. So I'm really excited to uh, learn how to better my channel. And um, hopefully it'll help the experience that you guys, you know, get to see and watch um, on my channel. So I'm looking forward to that. So again, just thanks for rocking with me. Peace.